Hey, it's Sid with Table Talk with Sid again. Another life memo. I want to wish you all a happy new year in 2017. I want to toss this little discussion around with you on the subject of struggle so that as we hit and move into 2017, we're aware of how to alter, how to make changes, how to do different in 2017, opposed to continuing to do the same thing over and over. So I was having this discussion with uh, a couple of friends of mine on the subject of struggle. Struggle is a beautiful and interesting subject because as I was having this discussion, they really wanted to debate with me a lot that uh, struggle is formed by what's happening to you, by the things that have put you in certain situations, and that struggle is this thing that when you're standing outside of yourself, they're telling me many people don't understand the struggle that one goes through as an individual within their own life. So as I was listening to, to this, you know what's interesting is the power of point of view. So struggle Take me with a grain of salt. Struggle actually is formed within your opinion. So if your opinion is focused on the downfall of it, the struggle of it, how unfair it is, how people aren't seeing what you're going through, how life has dealt you some a really bad hand, if your point of view is on the struggle of it, then the struggle becomes more apparent. It lingers in your life because struggle is this thing that needs to be fed in order for it to keep blooming, to keep growing, and to empower your life. It must be fed. It must be nurtured. You, you wonder, well, how do I nurture struggle? Struggle is nurtured by the energy and focus put in it. So if you are focused on all the things you don't want, all the things that are bothering you, stressing you out, unfair to you, all the things that have caused you discomfort, you are now feeding struggle. And you will have no choice but to house struggle within you because you're nurturing it. What you nurture by giving energy, focus, attention to is what grows. So you want different in your life. You want to alter struggle. Struggle is changed within you. Change your point of view. So if you can take a moment to step back and go, you know what? That really kind of ticked me off. I don't really love the situation I'm in. However, this is how I just put myself in the driver's seat. This is what I just overcame. This is how I became stronger. This is how I am becoming stronger than the average person. This is an education to me. So it's not you losing something. It's you being educated. I'm going to tell you a little story here. So my 14-year-old daughter, soon to be 15, is selling clothing of hers online. So there's this law, this site that all these little teeny boppers are selling all their old clothing on. And I think it's fabulous because it's teaching a lot about business and life and how to get something done when they want something new. So, you know, I've been watching her and supporting her, meaning lifting her up and being excited for her. Well, she went and um, she had sold this coat. So it was time for her to mail it off. So she asked me to drive her to the post office and, you know, I help her figure out how did she choose the box and the price of the shipping and blah, blah, blah. So then we get into the car and she's looking at the details to this coat that she just shipped off to this girl. And it says that the company, the, the company she's working through already took out shipping and handling for her, meaning the company has a program for her to ship through. Well, she didn't look at that detail. So she says to me, Mom, I just spent money shipping it and the company has already taken that money out. I just lost out on this money. And she starts to cry. And I said, baby, take a, take a step back. 
take a breath. Did you lose money or did you just educate yourself? She says to me, mom, I lost money. I don't have money sitting in my hand because I paid for shipping and handling twice. And I said, okay, we're, we're going to sit in the car just for a moment so that you can collect yourself. Because what I really want you to see is that you didn't lose out unless you believe you have lost out. You actually, in reality, gained an education What you just taught yourself about the business you are doing for yourself is, I need to understand the rules and regulations through the site that I work. I just learned that when I don't do my research and my homework and know about my craft and what it is I'm getting into and what it is I'm participating in, then I may lose out on money and I may be taken advantage of. What she just learned was an education. It was not a loss. Yeah, she had to pay for the education. She spent 20 some odd dollars learning about this education. But my point of the matter is she can sit and look at this as the company took advantage of her. It was all in small print. She lost out and that she's going to be angry over this. Or she can take a step back and go, all right, I'm going to be grateful for the education this company just gave me because I'm stepping out into the real world. And what this company just showed me is that if I'm going to step out into the real world and I'm going to do business with real people and I'm going to sell and buy things, I need to know my craft. I need to know what I'm doing. I need to read the small print. This opportunity for her to see that she got to choose struggle or she would get to choose overcoming and empowerment. So struggle is this thing that is chosen by each of us. Yes, some struggle more than others. Yes, there are situations that are extremely difficult, ones that may take a few minutes to alter your point of view, to find the good. So I'm not saying that we devalue struggle. However, if you can alter your point of view, if you can find the good, find where you were educated, find how you were empowered, and figure out how you just put yourself in the driver's seat, you will find you do not feel nor participate in struggle very often. And on top of that, for those who lack the interest of altering views, then it is that choice to take on more struggle. What you're saying is that I'm actually comfortable here. I'm comfortable feeling frustrated. I'm comfortable being behind the eight ball. I'm comfortable in that story because we all are known for something, which I think is so valuable because we all brand ourselves the way we choose to be seen. So the way you are seen within yourself, how you see yourself is how others see you. Ponder that. How you see yourself is how others see you. So If you see yourself as someone who's behind the eight ball, a victim, someone who struggles, someone who's treated unfairly, people see you as a person who struggles often, a person who has a hard time altering their thoughts, a person who has a challenge in finding the good, maybe even a person who's angry and negative often. So if you can alter how you see things alter how you see yourself, others see that about you. Then they start seeing this person. Okay, this person is a person who overcomes. This is a person who may face struggle, but finds the good and finds the stepping stone. When you can alter your point of view, you alter who you are in your core. You alter how and where you're going. You will absolutely 100% alter your now your future, your peace, your happiness, and all that that you will become. Remember in life, you will fall down, stand up, brush off, and move on.